and Enrique, uh, the experience on the, the masterclass with the fund manager and the development. The next part that we're going to be working on is about also uh, a bit of the partner, uh, the Statitude Partner Community. And the Statitude Partner Community is is fundamentally uh, based on the master trainer. So now I have the pleasure of uh, doing a small panel to open up on the, the master trainer and also what happened from the master trainer to the world with four close friends of Strategy Tool and the partner community. Um, I have uh, Suhail al Gosebi from Bahrain. I have Glenn Tion from Panama that we already mentioned. I have uh, Pex Para from Colombia, and I have uh, Nir Melamud from uh, Israel. So in the meantime that they join the, the spotlight and the stage, I will just like share the, the screen just to go through uh, a little bit of the, the strategy tool master trainer. I will let the, uh, the panelists go in into more details. We have a nice uh, page prepared on the, the master trainer, uh, what's happened. So this is a five day in person in Stavanger, Norway. Uh, this was our second uh, round of it. The first one was pre-COVID in uh, January, 2020. Yeah. These are a like couple of pictures that you see, and you will spot some of these faces as well in today participants. So here is Suhail and Nir. Here is uh, our friend Florian. He's in the back, uh, Van Fadzil. Uh, Bulent, uh, Michael, Elin. Uh, we have like team as well here. We have a couple of guests as well. Um, I will send you the link and you can go a little bit more about what we've been working on, what we've been drinking and eating, visiting around and <laughs> traveling, more of that. And there is quite a lot of uh, input coming on there. Um, we'll share this later on because I want to give more uh, spotlight to our panelists. So first question that uh, I have, is to really do a quick introduction of you um, in really one minute each. Who are you, what you do, where you're from, but also what, is, what has been master trainer for you in three words? And maybe let's start, I, I just go clockwise from, uh, from my location with uh, Suhail first. Thank you very much. Um, it's lovely being here and seeing those photos brought back some lovely memories. Uh, of those uh, long, long days together. So uh, <laughs> lovely to see my, my new friends again here. Um, uh, my name is Suhail al Gosebi. I, I run uh, Felek Innovation. Uh, nothing to do with our other fr uh, uh, friends in, in, in Egypt. Uh, I was a bit um, um, envious that they have the same name as, as my organization, but it, you know, it is what it is. Great minds think alike. So uh, Felek Innovation is a values-based, purpose-driven, strategy and innovation consultancy. Our purpose is to build stronger economies and happier societies by unlocking business and human potential. Um, uh, I'm also chairman of Bahrain's first angel investing uh, fund. Uh, and uh, I've, I wear a lot of hats, so I, I don't want to um, spend too much time on that. Um, wow, three words, what, what did it mean? I think I would say maybe uh, education, uh, camaraderie, and uh, lots and lots of uh, deep thinking. Super. Thank you, Sohail. Uh, let, let's go to Pax. Hi all, greetings from, uh, from the tropics. I am um, Pax. I am I'm an organizational communications major. I've been consulting and facilitating most of my career, except for two moments where I joined the oil and gas industry as an organizational learning slash organizational effectiveness manager. And then uh, I, uh, I also had the chance to work for McKinsey and company for a couple of years in the organization practice. Uh, but I've been an independent consultant pretty much all my life. Uh, the, uh, participating in the master training in, in, in three words was the highlight, my highlight of, of 2022 without, without a doubt. Um, because of the content, because of the methods, because of the network. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't be investing these four hours here today. I'm very, very glad to be here. And, um, and it was just incredibly fun. Uh, it was super, you, you, have to have, you have to allow yourself to, uh, to enjoy your work. And it was a, a super enjoyable week, without a doubt. Super. 
Thank you, Pax. Uh, welcome again. Uh, let's go to Nir Melamut next from Israel. Yeah. So <clears throat> I mainly work with uh, with uh, startups and investments, uh, all types. VC investment, angel investment, working on investor readiness. You're going to hear it later on today <clears throat> on my uh, uh, take. And three war. So, so one thing just to say is I came to to this uh, engagement, to this master training engagement by knowing most of strategy tools, tools, toolkit, methodologies. That, that's kind of the and the way I entered it. And just to give you the essence, I find it very much insightful. I'm sure we're going to elaborate a little bit more uh, in a minute. Uh, three words, I would say mastery. I would say all connected. Really, all the domains are connected. And the third one would be condensed. Everything was condensed over there. Yeah. Super. <laughs> here. And lastly, Glention from Panama. Thank you. Thank you, Rico. And uh, great to see my friends uh, back uh, after so many, many uh, weeks. Um, well, for me to get started, I mean, my background has been consulting uh, for over 20, 25 plus years. Uh, worked for a big, uh, so-called big four, head of innovation, head of strategy and head of uh, advisory based out of Panama. And, um, you know, what I've seen happening in, in, in the consulting, the big consulting business is that they are not changing fast enough. And, um, you know, I've been, I've been watching innovation kind of slowly creep into these companies. And unfortunately, it was not going fast enough for me, at least. And I decided to, uh, to be courageous and, and uh, take the leap into the entrepreneurship, uh, yes. you know, consulting business. Uh, so I envy Pex what you've been able to do. Uh, I mean, I struggle every single day to see well, where's my next project coming from. But anyways, um, strategy tools for me was a, a game changer. I was uh, very fortunate enough to be exposed to it by by fellow friends, uh, Roberto and Carlos in in uh, in Costa Rica, who I'm extremely grateful for. And the experience, I mean, it was like, just like Nir said, I mean, I've been investing a lot in understanding the tools and training and getting certified, but coming to Stavanger and, and seeing Chris and all of you guys in action and understanding how it all brings together was, uh, was amazing. So for me, the three words are really, um, and that's the nice thing of going last, you have the chance to think about these things. Um, it's uh, definitely immersive, fun, and highly, highly educational. So those were the three, my three words. Thank you. Two of which were mine. So Glenn, that wasn't very. <laughs> 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 now, we, now we're going to change anyway. So uh, great, great. Thanks for. Uh, sorry, for, for sorry, the... Enrico. Yeah. Enrico, I need to interrupt now. It's great to hear Suhail. I think I hadn't talked to Suhail since we were there in Stavanger. And one of the key elements during that week was the uh, excellent top level of competitiveness, friendly, <laughs> friendly and healthy competitiveness among everyone. That was, that was super enjoyable. <laughs> uh, I, I knew that would be the most complex panel to manage today because it's just a bunch of friends like meeting up. And, like, and we, we have the other, I, I know it's important that we could not invite the other 12 uh, plus people that we have because that's kind of the bond that was created over these uh, uh, five days. Yeah. But just like for the, for our audience, I think one area that I would like to invest. So it was uh, briefly touched by, by Nir. So Nir and Glenn, maybe they came to master training with a little bit of exposure to the strategy tool world, uh, the partner community, the way of working. Whatever, like for you, Suhail and Pex, you were coming kind of more like fresh. You get the, the, the intro and the preparation, but you were kind of discovering um, most of the, the part of the, the strategy tool universe and the complexity and the, the multifaceted part that we have. So what I would like to go next is to see like, what were the difference from the four of you for coming in uh, and part of a development journey with strategy tools, maybe for Glenn and Nir, and what would be maybe starting with master trainer and what does it mean for you, for you and for your journey? So uh, who wants to go first? I'll go last. I'll, I'll, yeah. Who is, who is, I don't know who's uh, where. <laughs> Glenn, yeah, go, go first now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, Let's go for, so, the, so, for the experienced guy first. Yeah, so um, here's the deal. I think uh, 
it doesn't really matter whether or not you've been through multiple trainings and multiple certification. You have to approach this with a beginner's mind. And that's, I think, the best way for you to really get as much out of the training as possible. I mean, I've, I've run Transform. I've done, you know, the certification. I've been through all these things. I've done, I, you know, invested almost a year, if I, if I, if I can, you know, reflect in, um, in getting prepared for this. So clearly you get a head start with, you know, on, on people that have not seen these things before. But nevertheless, even for me, it was a tremendous learning experience where I just said, you know what? Okay, you've been through these things, you've seen it before, but I'm going to approach this with a, as a sponge, as a beginner's mind. There's so much to learn. And the fact that we were exposed to uh, external uh, clients of strategy tools was, was tremendous. So yeah, um, it, it does make a difference, obviously, because you know a lot of the concept uh, and that gives you, you know, some, some benefit. But nevertheless, your mindset has to be still a beginner's mindset. Thank you, Glenn. Nir, what, what do you think? Yeah, so I've been engaged with the strategy tool since uh, I think it was October 2020. So in the midst of the of, of COVID, and I saw that there were this, the first master trainer, and I just you know entered the community, and I wanted to be on the next one. It took a while since it really happened. And in this meantime, I think I've done most of strategy tools courses over there. So for example, the building the transformation company, the SUCO program, fund manager with it, which is not a course, but uh, you know, all the other facilitating of simulation. So it really at the end, and then the master trainer came. So I I I I you know I had my internal doubts beforehand whether or not I should invest, you know, five intensive day plus travel, plus etc. if I want to do that. And really, to, to, to say the least, th this was an incredible, um, I, I would even add mind-blowing, uh, ongoing activity throughout the whole five days. Uh, you think that a normal day would end up at around, I know, starting at eight o'clock, yeah, uh, at seven? This one? No, it doesn't. It's even more than that quite intensive, quite challenging. The participants are challenging. Not, you know, Chris is Chris and he uh, he's, has his own energy of making you feel uncomfortable in, in, in your chair. But the funny thing is that you find yourself in, in, the, in, the, in, the, <clears throat> in the respectful way, challenged by the others, which is also something that you <clears throat> learn very quickly to appreciate. And it kind of uplifted the whole level of the, of the experience. So that was my, and, and there are lots of learnings along the way. And that, that's my take on it. Yeah. Great. And switching to Pax and Suhail, what was your experience from uh, coming fresh uh, through the two preparation <coughs> session that we have, a massive pre-reading list that Chris prepared and not like, boom, straight to Stavanger? After you, Pax. Yeah, yeah. So to me, starting from the very, very basics, just that that uh, canvas or that slide that uh, most of you will recognize of the two lenses on strategy, strategy as analysis versus strategy as innovation. If, if, if I tell you that that was mind blowing for me, so, and, and that was like the, the first five minutes of the first day, so anything above that was was incredible. Uh, so so seeing uh, seeing being able to see or or to um, address strategy exercises with corporations and with companies, which is my focus, not so much the startups and and uh, and the VCs, uh, from a different perspective is incredible. And I just I just finished the uh, the book, uh, the, uh, Rita McGrath's book, and I'm also very curious on the open open strategy now with the other Chris and uh, and I think that is all that is all mind blowing. So from the very very basic, second, uh, understanding and seeing from the interaction with the guests that you can facilitate as an external advisor or an external 
strategy coach slash facilitator, strategy exercises, not only with the executive team, but also at a one-on-one -on -one level with different stakeholders of the company or the CEO or the CFO or somebody else. And I've started uh, trying that out here with local clients in Colombia, and it's super interesting. They, they, they get engaged through the different canvases and through the different tools in a very, very interesting way at a one, on a one-on-one -on -one level. And then you bring them all together into a room after having, in, having had individual conversations. That is super, super enriching. Uh, and, and now with the open strategy mindset and framework, I want to, uh, I want to engage my clients and, and to, to dare to engage my clients from a whole different perspective. So, so, and, and that can turn into strategy programs and strategy journeys for, for more than six months, more than a year, if you start engaging with different stakeholders within the company. And then, and then the last one, uh, I would have to say is is understanding the different applications of 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 strategy exercises with different stakeholders from from companies to NGOs to startups and how how it is incredibly valuable to engage into strategy conversations with all of them regardless of their position and their situation <laughs> so, and their backstory. Um, it, and but you just have to be very very aware of why it is different and so from which perspective to address each of those situations that's that's what i would say thank you so hi so i i think i heard of of uh, chris from some sort of article i cannot for the life of me remember where it was some sort of was it Harvard Business Review? Was it something else? You know, it, it, I, I forget. And then it was something about the top 50 thinkers. And then I went to the website and I, and I ended up on the mailing list. And I, then I this global coaches thing came up. And really, I, I had no idea what it was, but I had seen the, the stuff on simulations on the website and so on. So I was quite intrigued. Little did I know how much pre-work was was required. And I don't know, had I known at the time, I don't know if I would have registered or not. So, you know, I, I cursed myself afterwards because I had to do a whole online course called the Global Coaches. So I had to do that. I was not too happy about it. And then there's a case study that's sent and then another one and another one. And, I, and somehow I even missed one. We had to do work on one. We went to dinner one of the nights and I was totally unprepared. So, so yeah, that took me by surprise. But I mean, it was a necessary evil. Uh, but I, I, it was it was actually really really good. Having done the course, um, I then uh, very similar to what was just said. I, I uh, looked into Rita McGrath. I read the book Looking Around Corners. Then I read the book uh, Lead and Disrupt. Then now I'm reading the Corporate Explorer, and and it's kind of it's opened other doors uh, for me. Uh, I definitely loved the simulations. I think they were amazing. It's like. Um, you know, monopoly on steroids. It's it's uh, really good, and I can't believe how many uh, uh, there are and how how you know um, different they are. And I'm really thankful that in in I think it was the fund manager one, or it may have been an, a, a I forget which one I think, or the building building the the, the um, transformational company one. Um, I was with Nir in the group, thank goodness, and 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 so he was a CFO when he had the spreadsheets ready. He knew everything that was going on, and he knew that if the more business models you had, the bigger your share price would be, and that was a big help. So so I'm I'm forever grateful for that because I was a CEO of that, and I had no idea what I was doing. So I'm I'm very very uh, uh, grateful for that. Really, I think it's very powerful when you have people from around the world. Uh, it was so wonderful interacting and learning from everyone. And so everyone really added something different. We came from different places, different backgrounds, different industries. And it, it, was, it, was, it was really, really good. The fact that it's in this, you know, sleepy town in Norway. You know, I've, I've never been to Norway. I thought Norway was amazing. I loved Stavanger. It's, it's you know, on, this, on, on, on the coastline. Really good. The fact that we went to visit Equinor. Uh, was really good. You could, here you are, you have access to a multi-billion dollar uh, oil company that are very frankly talking about their own transformation, the strategies. You're, you're sitting with a chief strategy officer and you can ask them very direct questions and you do some small exercises with, with, with the person. So really, uh, it was a, quite a, a remarkable experience overall, which I'm very grateful for. Great. Good. So thanks, thanks to all of you. So you, you mentioned as well, into this, like the, this five days intensive were about like content, but also about the, you know, how you use this content with real 
people. And yeah, so I just mentioned the Equinor, the large oil and gas strategy team. Near mentioned that we have a, like a three startup founder that came to ask for direct advice from, from you, fresh from the, from the one. Yeah. We have a presentation from a cluster uh, manager. And we also have the, the guests from the, the Link Capital Fund Manager yeah. that they help us through. What I want to say, like, so when Chris designed this program, it is <laughs> intensive by design. It is supposed to be as much relevant as possible. We have five days in place, so it's this high pace and a high level and a advanced level that we have to do. Uh, what I want to do it is what I want to hear from you it is how did you came back home, and how you, you know, use the, the this experience of the master trainer in your own work. And um, I know that like different geography, different industry, different segments. So I'm really, really looking forward to hear from each one of you uh, in, in a little bit short time, how important was to get this experience and also what you're getting from it, from your uh, activity today and of last year and also what you're looking forward to do in 2023. Um, again, want to go first. I want to have the, the I'll start again. this time. Yeah, think, please go ahead. Uh, so so um, there was a strategy assignment I already had booked um, with a family-owned, mid-sized family-owned retail organization. And so so it was a good good uh, opportunity to experiment with, with some of the, uh, the canvases. So we had a, a two-day innovation workshop that we did. And so we, we uh, I believe we used the industry maps um, uh, canvas and we used the Forgive me, if I, forgive me if I don't remember all the names because, uh, you know, we all know Chris likes to do a lot of these. So there's probably like, you know, 60 new ones since we were there. And so, you know, and they, I don't know what kind of colors they're going to come up with because they've run out of colors. But but anyway, so I think it was called Customer Development Canvas. We used that one as well. Uh, and then we went on a, uh, on a retreat, uh, just the board and the CEO to uh, Turkey. Um, and uh, again, I used one of them. I, I forgive me for forgetting which one it was. So, so it was a very good opportunity to actually start using them, seeing them in action, and just uh, seeing how they simplify things uh, for for you and for for your clients. And even something very simple, I had never used statis before. Now I'm using them all the time. I'm like a statis, you know, believer. And so we used a lot of those. And even the clients are saying, well, these are amazing. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, there you go, Glenn. And, mm -hmm. and so we, we were using those and, and they're like amazed. And, you know, everyone's, uh, <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> since we're, we're doing this now. There we go. I can't. Everybody has statues yeah. laying around there. <laughs> Miko is happy. <laughs> so so uh, we, we um, using those was also very helpful, just moving your thoughts around and so on. So and so for 2020 through, uh, 2023, excuse me, definitely um, want to explore what what more canvases can we use. Um, like I said, I've done the building the transformational uh, company uh, course after the afterwards as well. So I want to see what I can use from there. And the beauty of it is that it's these are simple tools that you don't need to um, be you know use tons of of uh, use huge decks like traditional consulting does. You can put everything on one page and just think out loud and co-create strategy with your client. So I'm, uh, I'm happy about that. Thank you, Sohail. Well, what I, what I did as soon as I, uh, well, actually I made, a, I made a stop in the Netherlands uh, and stayed in the Netherlands for like four or five weeks after Norway. And by the way, I love Norway, I love Stavanger and, and thanks again for hosting it there. Um, so one of the first thing I did is uh, I bought my own transform toolkit, the simulation, and I brought it with me. Um, I've run the digital one before, but the actual physical kit has a total different dynamics. I reached out to my good friend, Victor Haas in, uh, in the Netherlands. I said, Victor, I'm going to be here for a couple of weeks why don't we just run one of these things and see how it goes? And that's exactly what we have done. And thanks to Victor for organizing that. We had a session in, in Nijmegen uh, in, in the Netherlands. And it was, uh, it was a fantastic experience just to run this program and run the simulation. Uh, it was not a full simulation. We did a half day one, like I think it was like four hours. But it was, uh, it was really putting, you know, what I've learned and what I've seen and what we have applied in in Norway almost immediately to the test. And 
And I think um, 2023 is going to be a year where people will start to notice the benefit, the, the value that these simulations bring. Whenever you're talking about transformation and it's so far away, right? You're talking a 10 year, five year program. People say, well, I'm worried about paying payroll next month, right? So how do we get people engaged in these things? I think one of the, the beauties of, uh, of bringing this all together as such is really, and I think Peter said it, I, you know, having courage and, and, and you know, and, and, and confidence. Uh, to do and take bold steps in an environment that is, uh, you know, very much so uh, fail-proof um, is is very beneficial. So, um, yeah, so much to be done. There's so much work to be still to be to be done for sure. And I also think that our network—that's the other thing. And thanks to Pex as an example, Pex and I have been able to engage, to work together, to develop. I think a total of five proposals in in you know in a couple of weeks just by knowing each other, getting to 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 experience master trainer together in Norway, and coming back with all these new tools and ideas and and uh, you know passion and obsession to to really make a change. Okay, thanks for your testimonial, Glenn. Um, Nir, you want to go next? Yeah, yeah. So. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm having a difficulty a little bit to separate my overall knowledge of, of, of the different tools, etc., with the specific, uh, uh, um, I wouldn't say contribution, but, you know, at the end, we it's all embedded in a way. Uh, what I take mostly and, and implemented it right away was all the facilitation techniques basically in, in the in-person uh, environment. Because again, I engaged with strategy tools at 2020, mid of, uh, of COVID, everything was mostly on the, on the digital. And all of a sudden we came into, you know, the, 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 the Stavanger studio. Uh, I don't recall the, 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 the Norwegian name of the, of, of, of the building, which is amazing. Uh, but it was uh, it was the in-person activity, utilizing the, the you know the simulation, etc. But the in-person thing creates a different dynamic, and that what I took right after and started to meet in person. You know, it's something when when and again you can bring on a printed uh, canvas or a printed tool, uh, but you can also remember it in your head and then just sketch something that reflects with what you know, uh, and that uh, that creates uh, a different impact. And if you combine it with, with questioning in the right way, uh, and that's another thing that, uh, that this master trainer really focusing at, talk less, ask the right questions, et cetera, and facilitate the right way, uh, present in the right way. So this is, this is key. This is this is this is just complement to all the let's call it a knowledge base that you uh, that you gain. So yeah, lots of that, lots of this. <clears throat> and um, of of course, I, I mentioned already. I the, the week after I came back from Norway, I had the chance to to. Uh, make I, I didn't know we had uh we had access to translated version of the canvases so i put in the work to translate uh to translate a couple of canvases and use them right away uh now now i know i i've actually and, and a lot of you have seen it i have adapted some of the canvases uh, after after pre-work with with clients and them saying why don't we add this box and this because i would like to add this part of a conversation to the overall discussion so i've Taken the, the liberty to uh to adapt some of those too. Uh, hope that is that is okay, Chris and the team. Uh, but besides that, besides that, uh, I I put I, I made sure, as Glenn already mentioned, to uh to activate that regional network right away. So so uh, we've been very busy with Roberto and with Glenn. I haven't met with Carlos yet, uh, or with Javier Sevilla from Mexico. Um, but, uh, but we have been busy and we have some plans for this year. We actually, after a meeting with the 
local former CEO of a of, of a big of, of a big uh, um, accelerator here in Colombia uh, for the startup world uh, of of strategy tools. Uh, that's been one part. So so using the canvases, of course, and it's been delightful, and using the studies and clients go crazy. <laughs> creating the network and, uh, and and looking forward to a lot of work with the regional network and hopefully with the network overseas and having good excuses to hop on a plane and cross the Atlantic for some work. That's also going to be going to be wonderful. Um, but the best part was that at the end of the year in December, I sat down with my wife, who's my partner at my local consulting firm, and we actually used a few of the canvases and we we defined our forthcoming strategy based on uh, on the on the core growth and explore uh, canvas and our local adaptation of it and uh, and it makes a lot of sense now uh, from from the user from, from the client side of the uh, of the experience it, it's nothing but powerful but super super powerful so so of course everything that I said before working more closely with Glenn and with Roberto and of course with Jorge that's the reason I invited him here um, is 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 uh is written and was written on status on a canvas and is now on part of our of our forthcoming strategy for Parra Para and our company here and our newly born company in the states in Miami so that we can invoice projects international projects easily without having clients have to pay to Colombia but are paid directly to a to a company in the based in the states so I hope all that works. And all those steps have been a, a result of, of the trip to Southern Gary in September. So thank you very much. Amazing. Super. Guys, uh, Swahil, Pax, Nir, Glenn, thank thanks you. for sharing your 